Hello everyone, this is your Roberts Webmaster, Derek Martin. I'm down here on the sales floor for our Spring Expo 2009. We are here right now at the Nikon booth. And look at all those pretty little cameras that got set up here. We're here with Jason, who is going to talk to us today about the hot new D5000, which we have right here for everybody. Let's get a shot of that badge, there we go. And I'll turn it over to him now. Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Uh, one of the really cool things about the new D5000 is it's a 12 megapixel camera, very similar to a D40, D60 in a style, in the sense that uh, it's a very compact, easy to use camera, but it also has this really cool flip out display that allows for a 270 degree angle of view so that we can rotate it like a traditional camera, or if I want to hold it at a lower angle, or if I need to hold it at a, a little higher angle to be able to see over the top of something, very cool. We also have built into this the capability of live view with the HD video at 720p. The neat thing about this screen for the way it flips out is it works really well for being able to hold the camera very steady while you're doing the video aspect as opposed to you know more of a traditional stance like this. So it gives some, some neat uh, different controls to the camera some new scene modes to the camera. We have traditional things like portrait landscape and close-up modes, but we also have new styled scene modes where, let me flip this screen out for us, as I rotate this mode dial on the back, we have different things similar to what the Coolpix had for like a party indoor, daylights, uh, sunset, we have a new pet mode, we have a food mode, there's a candlelight mode, so it records some very different dramatic types of scenes. <laughs> Coupled with this, one of the things that, that becomes very popular is the new 35mm uh, rather, 1.8 lens for low light, street photography, walking around photography, you're getting started in uh, sports and action, you want that fast lens of a 1.8 opening, 35mm, so on this, using the DX sensor is going to give a comparable equivalent to a 50-millimeter uh, lens. Which makes it like the traditional fast primes of the Absolutely. days gone by. Absolutely. So, so you got that traditional, even like a student or a school-type camera as well. So, very cool. All right, Jason, thank you for that. Thanks, guys. Thank